subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to our exam prep series. These practice questions are for the candidates preparing for Microsoft Azure Fundamentals, AZ900 exam. For more practice tests, visit our website www.testpreptraining.com. An Azure dashboard is stored as which type of file? XML, JSON, DOCX, or HTML? The correct answer is number 2. Azure dashboards are stored as JSON files, which allow them to be uploaded and downloaded to share with other members of the Azure directory. Question 2. Deploying an app can be done directly to what level of physical granularity? Is it region, data center, or server rack? Azure organizes infrastructure around regions, which include multiple data centers. You can pick the region you want resources deployed into. You can't select a specific data center, or location within a data center. Thus the correct answer is number 1. Question 3. What support should a region have to use Azure data centers that are made available with power, cooling, and networking capabilities independent from other data centers in a region? Is it geographical distribution, service level agreements, or availability zones? The correct answer is availability zones. Availability zones are data centers set up to be an isolation boundary from others in the region, with their own power, cooling, and networking. If one zone in a region goes down, other availability zones in the region continue to work. Question 4. You plan to deploy several Azure virtual machines. You need to ensure that the services running on the virtual machines are available if a single data center fails. Solution. You deploy the virtual machines to two or more scale sets. Does this meet the goal? Yes, it will. Azure Virtual Machine Scale Sets let you create and manage a group of identical load balanced VMs. The number of VM instances can automatically increase or decrease in response to demand or a defined schedule. Scale sets provide high availability to your applications and allow you to centrally manage, configure, and update a large number of VMs. With virtual machine scale sets, you can build large scale services for areas such as compute, big data, and container workloads. Question 5. An IT engineer Parker needs to create a virtual machine in Azure. Currently the IT engineer has a Windows desktop and has installed the Azure command line interface. Considering the following, from which, could Parker use the Azure command line interface? Parker can use PowerShell and Command Prompt. Thus correct answer is option 2. Question 6. A company named Proactive Consulting is planning on using Azure storage accounts. They have the following requirements. Storage of 2 terabytes of data, and storage of a million files. Can these requirements be fulfilled using Azure Storage? Yes, Azure Storage can easily meet these requirements. Question 7. Which of the following cloud service category does Azure Virtual Machine Service belongs to? Is it infrastructure as a service, software as a service, platform as a service, or function as a service? Azure Virtual Machine belongs to the infrastructure as a service category. Since you manage the application, data, runtime and OS, while the cloud service provider manages virtualization, servers, storage and networking. Question 8. Application availability refers to what? 1. Is it the service level agreement of the associated resource? 2. Or an application support for an availability zone? 3. Or is it the overall time that a system is functional and working? The time that a system is working, is referred to as the application availability. Thus the correct answer is option 3. Question 9. Suppose you have an existing application running locally on your own server. You need additional capacity but prefer to move to Azure instead of buying upgraded on-premises hardware. Which compute option would likely give you the quickest route to getting your application running in Azure? Is it serverless computing, virtual machines, or containers? The correct choice would be a virtual machine. You have full control over the VM setup so you can configure it to match your on-premises server. This control will allow your existing application to run on the Azure VM with little or no change. 
Question 10. Imagine that you work on a photo sharing application that runs on millions of mobile devices. Demand is unpredictable because you see a spike in usage whenever a locally or nationally significant event occurs. Which Azure Compute resource is the best match for this workload? Is it serverless computing, virtual machines, or containers? The photo sharing app is event driven and needs to handle unpredictable demand. Serverless computing is a good fit for this situation because it is event based and can scale instantly to process spikes in traffic. It should also be a cost-effective choice, because, you will pay for compute time, only when processing user data. Question 11. A company Proactive Consulting needs to create around 50 customized virtual machines. Out of these 20 are Windows-based virtual machines and 30 are Ubuntu machines. Considering the following, which choice would help reduce the administrative effort, required to deploy the machines? Is Azure Traffic Manager the correct choice here? or Azure Load Balancer, is it Azure Web Apps, or is it Azure Scale Sets? Azure Scale Sets, would be the correct choice for this requirement. Question 12. Your company has an on-premises network that contains multiple servers. The company plans to reduce the following administrative responsibilities of network administrators. Backing up application data, replacing failed server hardware, managing physical server security, updating server operating systems, managing permissions to share documents. The company plans to migrate several servers to Azure Virtual Machines. You need to identify which administrative responsibilities will be reduced after the planned migration. Which two responsibilities should you identify? The options are Replacing failed server hardware Backing up application data Managing physical server security Updating server operating systems The correct options are Replacing failed server hardware And Managing physical server security Question 13 A team of developers at your company plans to deploy, and then remove, 50 customized virtual machines each week 30 of the virtual machines run Windows Server 2016 and 20 of the virtual machines run Ubuntu Linux you need to recommend, which Azure service will minimize the administrative effort, required to deploy and remove the virtual machines. What should you recommend? Should you recommend Azure Reserve Virtual Machine Instances? Or Azure Virtual Machine Scale Sets? Or Azure Dev Test Labs? Or Microsoft Managed Desktop? Azure Dev Test Labs would be the correct choice for this scenario. Azure Dev Test Labs is suitable for Quickly provision development and test environments Minimize waste with quotas and policies. Set automated shutdowns to minimize costs. Build Windows and Linux environments. Question 14. Which Azure service should you use to correlate events from multiple resources into a centralized repository? Should you use Azure Event Hubs? Or Azure Analysis Services? Or Azure Monitor? Or Azure Log Analytics? The correct answer is Azure Log Analytics. Question 15. A company livestream media needs to store 2 terabytes of data that will be infrequently used. The data needs to be accessed via Power BI. Which of the following would you consider as a cost-effective data storage layer for this? Is Azure SQL Databases would be the right option? Or is it Azure SQL Data Warehouse? Or Azure PostgreSQL? Or is it Azure Cosmos DB? Azure SQL Data Warehouse would be the correct choice here. It brings together enterprise data warehousing and big data analytics. It gives you the freedom to query data on your terms, using either serverless on-demand or provisioned resources, at scale. Question 16. Your company plans to deploy an artificial intelligence AI, solution in Azure. What should the company use to build, test, and deploy predictive analytics solutions? Is Azure Logic Apps the correct choice? Or is it Azure Machine Learning Studio? Is it Azure Batch, or is it Azure Cosmos DB? Azure ML Studio will be the right choice here. Question 17. You plan to store 20 terabytes of data in Azure. The data will be accessed infrequently and visualized by using Microsoft Power BI. You need to recommend a storage solution for the data. Which two solutions should you recommend? The correct answers are, 
Azure Data Lake, and Azure SQL Data Warehouse. Question 18. A company proactive consulting wants to make use of Azure for deployment of various solutions. They want to ensure that suspicious attacks and threats to resources in their Azure account are prevented. By using inbuilt sensors in Azure, which of the given helps prevent such attacks? Is the correct choice Azure Privileged Identity Management? Or is it Azure AD Identity Protection, or Azure DDoS Attack is the right choice? Or is it Azure Advanced Threat Protection? The correct choice here would be Azure Advanced Threat Protection. Question 19. You have 1000 virtual machines hosted on the Hyper-V hosts in a data center. You plan to migrate all the virtual machines to an Azure Pay-as-you-go subscription. You need to identify which expenditure model to use for the planned Azure solution. Which expenditure model should you identify? Operational model, elastic model, capital model, or scalable model? The correct choice here is, operational model. Question 20. Your company has several business units. Each business unit requires 20 different Azure resources for daily operation. All the business units require the same type of Azure resources. You need to recommend a solution to automate the creation of the Azure resources. What should you include in the recommendations? Should you recommend Azure Resource Manager templates? Or Virtual Machine Scale Sets? Or Azure API Management Service? Or Management Groups? The Azure Resource Manager templates would be the correct choice here. Question 21. A company proactive consulting has multiple subscriptions. They want to create resources in the different subscriptions. State whether it is possible to create resources in multiple subscriptions. Yes, it is possible to create resources in multiple subscriptions. Question 22. You plan to deploy several Azure virtual machines. You need to ensure that the services running on the virtual machines are available if a single data center fails. Solution. You deploy the virtual machines to two or more regions. Does this meet the goal? No, it will not. Question 23. You need to identify the type of failure for which an Azure availability zone can be used to protect access to Azure services. What should you identify? 1. A physical server failure. 2. An Azure region failure. 3. A storage failure. 4. An Azure Data Center Failure The correct answer is, 4. An Azure Data Center Failure Question 24. A company R&D is planning on purchasing Azure AD Basic for their Azure account. State whether the Azure AD Basic tier come with an SLA of 99.9%? Yes it does. Question 25. Your company plans to migrate all its data and resources to Azure. The company's migration plan states that only platform-as-a-service solutions must be used in Azure. You need to deploy an Azure environment that supports the planned migration. Solution: You create an Azure App Service and Azure Virtual Machines that have Microsoft SQL Server installed. Does this meet the goal? No, it would not. Question 26. You have an on-premises network that contains 100 servers. You need to recommend a solution that provides additional resources to your users. The solution must minimize capital and operational expenditure costs. What should you include in the recommendation? 1. A complete migration to the public cloud. 2. An additional data center. 3. A private cloud. 4. A hybrid cloud. The correct answer is 3. A private cloud. Question 27. Suppose your organization has limited amount of funding. Why using Azure Data Storage over an on-premises solution would be a better choice for your organization? 1. To ensure you run on a specific brand of hardware, which will let you form a marketing partnership with that hardware vendor. 2. The Azure Pay-as-you-go billing model lets you avoid buying expensive hardware. 3. To get exact control over the location of your data store. The correct choice is 2. There are no large upfront capital expenditures with Azure. You pay monthly for only the services you use. Question 28. Which of the following situations would yield the most benefits from relocating an on-premises data store to Azure? 1. 
unpredictable storage demand that increases and decreases multiple times throughout the year. 2. Long-term, steady growth in storage demand. 3. Consistent, unchanging storage demand. The correct choice is 1. Azure Data Storage is flexible. You can quickly and easily add or remove capacity. You can increase performance to handle spikes in load, or decrease performance, to reduce costs. In all cases, you pay for only what you use. Question 29. Your newly released mobile app using Azure Data Storage is seeing a huge spike in user volume due to some special event around the globe. To meet the unexpected new user demand, what feature of pay-as-you-go storage will be most beneficial? 1. The ability to provision and deploy new infrastructure quickly. 2. The ability to predict the service costs in advance. 3. The ability to meet compliance requirements for data storage. The correct choice is 1. As the user demand increases, the agility to deploy new servers, or services as needed, can help scale to meet the increased user load. Question 30. The compute options give you different levels of control, over the configuration of the environment, in which your application runs. Which of the following, lists the compute options, in order of your control from most control to least control? The correct option is 3. Virtual machines give you full control over the environment. Containers give you limited control. Serverless computing does not allow you to do any infrastructure configuration. Question 31. Which of the following is true about virtual networks? 1. You configure virtual networks through software. 2. A virtual network accepts network traffic on all ports. You configure the firewall through virtual machines. 3. Virtual networks are always reachable from the Internet. The correct answer is 1. You configure virtual networks through software. Software enables you to treat a virtual network just like your own network. Azure maintains the physical hardware for you. Which is true about Azure Load Balancer? 1. You must use Azure Load Balancer, if you want to distribute traffic among your virtual machines, running in Azure. 2. Azure Load Balancer works with internet-facing traffic only. 3. Azure Load Balancer distributes traffic among similar systems making your services more highly available. The correct answer is 3. If one system is unavailable, Azure Load Balancer stops sending traffic to it. It then directs traffic to one of the responsive servers. Question 33. Cloud security is a shared responsibility between you and your cloud provider. Which category of cloud services requires the greatest security effort on your part? 1. Infrastructure as a service. 2. Platform as a service. 3. Software as a service. The correct answer is 1. Infrastructure as a service. At this level, the cloud provider provides physical security to compute resources. However, it's your responsibility to patch and secure your operating systems and software, as well as configure your network to be secure. Question 34. Which of these options helps you most easily disable an account after an employee leaves your organization? 1. Enforce multi-factor authentication. 2. Monitor sign-on attempts. 3. Use single sign-on. SSO centralizes user identity, so you can disable an inactive account in a single step. Question 35. Which of these approaches is the strongest way to protect sensitive customer data? 1. Encrypt data as it sits in your database. 2. Encrypt data as it travels over the network. 3. Both as it sits in your database and as it travels over the network. Encrypting your data at all times, both as it sits in your database and as it travels over the network, minimizes the opportunity for an attacker to access your data in plain text. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.